I have heard a very uncomfortable amount tonight about money. Some about kids, a love for a way of life, a love for a community that belongs to a Sierra High, and way too much about money. <laughs> Treating these properties and kids as financial pawns, it really feels like that, and it's disappointing to me. You know what, I'm gonna share something with my daughter um, and kind of use this as a, as a learning opportunity. In the United States, we have the opportunity to publicly speak um, both for and against um, a position that we might hold um, that involves the government and to ask the government to change their position. And she goes, well, Dad, she goes, you know, really what this is about is about kids having a choice of where they go to school. And I thought to myself, that's absolutely brilliant because in one sentence, she summarized what the entire preceding three hours had been about. And so she got it, it's choices. Part of our democracy is to address the needs of the minority. There are 16 households, that's all they are. That's why you don't see 50 or 100 people here tonight all getting up and cheering for, uh, for this petition to be approved. It's a small minority of people, and part of our democracy, it's our job, especially as elected officials, to listen to the minority and, and take their up. views. I'm always an advocate for my homeowners. My tenants, whether they're living in an apartment complex or they, or they are homeowners. And whatever their issues are, I get involved. I personally get involved in, in their issues. And I'm an advocate for my homeowners. In Section 18.573 of Title V of CCR says that a territory transfer cannot result in a unified district going below 1,501 students. As we are already below what this regulation states, it is recommended level for a unified district and further reductions of our student population and potential growth would be very detrimental to Sierra Unified. The only area in our district with any potential growth, well not potential growth, any growth, has been the new housing in Ventana Hills. And further development there would help us return to the efficient operating size that we once were. Sierra is pursuing a general obligation bond, a bond that requires the tax base, uh, seeking a $45 rate. Clovis already has several general obligation bonds with a total rate of $155. The reality is, is that the facility demands uh, that need to be met in Sierra need this tax base. They need these other sources of revenue. There are not funds available in the operating revenues to deal with facilities in California. We all know that for school districts. So this graph I think is excellent in that it shows that if Ventana Hills was completely built out, um, that the amount that Ventana Hills would pay at that point is 798,000. Um, but it's also important to realize that although at the current rate, full development of the community will not occur within the lifetime of this actual bond. So while we can think that, yeah, it would be great if it was completely built out today, but unfortunately it is not. And you know, the bond will actually sunset and retire before the current progress of building within Ventana Hills is ever completed.